Hello viewers and welcome to the best Python course you come across in this planet. Okay, now I'm your co-instructor Dr. Don from Learn With Your Brains. I have some previous courses on Python but this is the advanced level of Python courses which is going to cover from beginner, intermediate and to the advanced level. But before that I need to give you a simple advice. Before you engage into this course, one, you need to have big 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 knowledge about maths. Now, when back in the high school, most people don't really like math, but it's so, so, so needed here in this uh, best Python course you ever come across. So when you're in high school and you're basic school and you don't take your math seriously, please, if you're in high school as of now, you try to take those kind of stuff serious because when you want to be a Python programmer or any programmer of any language, you need these kind of as basic things. Now, if you have a math background, you are good to go, you'll be able to think logically because you know in math we have something called logical reasoning which means you need to think logically to be able to be a good programmer. Two, you need to know something about English. English is fundamental when you are trying to do a program. Mostly I see a lot of programmers who don't tell you the truth about this but the truth is truth. Please try to learn more English to be able to know how to go about things when you are doing or writing a program. Secondly, or tellingly, as I said, first I said math, second, English, and third, be dedicated if you want to be a programmer. Programming is not for lazy people. Most programmers don't tell you this. All they will say is, uh, hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Yeah. You need to give the person who wants to learn an advice so that when the person comes, you will be able to know what he or she needs to do. It's as simple as that. So I'm giving you this tip for free and in this uh, lesson is going to be very very good one. I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Python and as long as we go along I'm going to give you more more tips in Python programming and also give you a lot of advices as you program with me along this long journey because you're going to take the journey so far because you're going to build a whole lot of projects throughout this best course ever to happen on this planet. We are going to uh, program over 100 to 200 and if not, you build about 300 projects in this project. I'm going to show you everything you need to know from the beginner, intermediate and the advanced level where you're going to cover a lot of topics like a print statement, as you know, like a print function, we're going to talk about variables, you're going to talk about how to receive inputs. We're going to do a lot of data conversion, which have a lot of data types, like the flow, the int, and the rest. We talk about strings too. We will talk about formatted strings, which talks about strings method, arithmetic operations, some operator precedence, and some mass function we we'll talk about. We will talk about if statements, logical operators, comparison operators. The while loops, oh my god, for loops, nested loops, list, nested loops, and also tuples, dictionaries, functions, parameters, return statements, exceptions, comments, classes, constructors, inheritance, models, packages, and a whole lot. And after we've learned all this, we will start building our projects through our discourse. But before that, I want you to do something before we start the whole process of this journey. Now, the first thing I want you to do is to go to your Chrome browser or any browser of your choice. Okay. Now, let me try to open this people. Now, we, when you go to Chrome, you just search for Google and in Google, you search for what we call PyCharm. Now, this is a code editor we are going to use to our discourse. This is one of my favorite code editors editors as i say like pycharm we also have some code editors like repo it what this does is when you build your projects you can show it to your friend for him to at least test your project you've done so far. so repo lint is one great resource where you can create a account build your projects here and try to share it across multiple platforms or to a lot of browsers for your friends to be able to access it we have one of one of my favorites is Sublime Test. This is actually one of my favorites. And you know, because I'm using Mac, it automatically 
In this shape that I should download this for a Mac book, but I'm going to use Python throughout this uh, course. So you better get knowledge about all these, 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 or you can use this so that we go along throughout this uh, whole process. But you can go to Python website, which is jetbrains.com and try to download the version for your computer. I'm using Mac, so I've already downloaded for my MacBook. So when you use the Windows, you can also download for your Windows operating system. At the same time, when you're using Linux, you can also use that. But if you don't want to do it offline, you want to do it online, then you go to repo it, try to create an account here and start building with this. So I've already created an account. I'm just showing you how to use the repo it. You just click here, go to create a repo. Then you choose the programming language you are going to code in. We have Python, we have Node, we have C, we have HTML, we have C++. So you just click on Python. Then you give the title of your project. Then you just create a repo. You'll wait for some time. It's going to configure the environment for you. Then you start trying to code within the environment. So you see the repo is booting. So it's computer is booting. And here you can write your first Python script. So you just write print. And what are you printing? Good. Yes, print hello. What the famous hello world. Yeah. That's all. After that, you just click on run and you see it's running throughout the console. It says hey, hello. It's already done. Then that's it. If you want to write every script online, you use this website, repo it. And it's a very, 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 very good resource to be able to work along with. Now, you also have Sublime Test and Python. So within this tool, as an offline staff, I always go with Python. You can also use Sublime Test because it's very, very, very good when you're programming in this. But I always enjoy programming in Python. So that is all you need to do now so that in our next video we are going to start about the topics i've already shown you here and since from that time too we'll be doing a lot of stuff along the road so uh, let me try to show you something now i already have pycharm download so let me go back and let me launch pycharm <laughs> So this is the committee version. So when you try to download from the main site, try to download the committee version. Now, when you open your PyCharm first, I want you to do something here. Mostly those who have PyCharm already installed, you are good to go back. If you are new, or like those using the old stuff, you just go to PyCharm and click on check for update. Okay? Because uh, sometimes they release updates. Okay, this is... Um, um okay it has been updated so i don't need problem but if you're using the old version you can click here and just check for updates before you create a new project so in the next video or lesson we are going to learn our first print statement because this series of lesson is going to cover everything i'm going to get time to take you all through this course so that after the end of this course, you're able to build a lot, lot, lot of projects for yourself. I hope you've enjoyed this introduction and see you in our next lesson. I'm still your co-instructor, Dr. Don from Len Wait Your Brace.